What's the name of her channel? Sorry, Misty. I don't know. <laughs> Because <laughs> of the face you made. <laughs> um, okay, where are we going? Can we start? Yeah. Where huh? we go? Yeah. Hello. I'm joining Tammy. This is Vintage Uprising Texas. And we have a hall. This is the West Texas Hall edition. But before we get into all of this... Tammy did the haul video for Renninger's, and I didn't show I any of my to stuff. Show his stuff. It's on the main video, like, hey, this is what we got, but it wasn't on. I'd already taken it to uh, various right. places in the house where I keep stuff. So really quick, just some things I found. Uh, just to get these out of the way, I got two of these lamps. These small library lamps, brass, and they need repair, yes, but and some shining up, but those will... Is there even a cord? Those will clean up nicely. No, they have to be rewired. Oh, okay. But yeah, we got to rewire these because that one actually burned. Uh, but once those are shined up and rewired, those would be nice. And I only got those, the pair for five bucks, I think, so that was a good deal. Another cool thing I got was this World World War II fighter plane stapler. It's got a brass bottom and the World War II logo and the propeller spins. And if you can see really close, it's got that tiger shark face that the pilots would paint on the planes. So that's a cool desk accessory. Also got this Royal Dalton Fox. Should I put the camera closer? And he is all knowing and a gentleman with his cane. And let me see. Royal Dalton. So <laughs> I think I paid a little too much for him, but I like him. A little too much. Just a little too much. Well, 20 bucks. The guy wanted, I think he wanted 35 So I got it for 20 I put a $20 in his hand and asked him if he would take it. He said, I'm going to yes. ask George if that was worth it. Someone made a comment and say that wasn't worth it, but um, apparently someone sold one on Etsy for like 80 or $90. So you tell me. That would be worth it if it sells for that much. Um, also, I got a set. I'm not going to hold them all, but some bake light uh, they're probably backgammon and checker pieces but I might be too far away here but there's t nice little amber color and dark brown so now I just need a nice checkerboard to go with that and I got a couple of pairs of bookends both uh, Art Nouveau Art Deco um, one is a lion, one pair is a lion um, with a, his paw on a stone, very heavy. Mm -hmm. They are heavy. Yeah, they're pretty cool. And a pair of Art Nouveau ladies. Mm, those are heavy. These are really heavy. And these will be cool. I mean, if I sell them, great. If I don't, great. Because I like bookends. Also got a... I forgot the company name. Um, we may put it on the scroll on the bottom. But this is a tabletop sliding bookend with an owl. 
etched on the side, Art Nouveau, or yeah, Art Nouveau, and this expands. And um, I only pay twenty dollars for this one. And I think the company ran these in the thirties, I believe, nineteen thirties. And then I got a leather Italian leather box. These are handmade in Italy. This one I bought from George, and I think he underpriced it. So I may owe him a few bucks because I know these are handmade in Italy by various artisans, but artisans. I have one that's a uh, gilded gold with more inlay on top. This one has a border inlay, gold inlay. But I saw the videos of the uh, one of the artisans that makes these in Italy and a small box like this which is about two inches by I guess three by six this thing takes like three days to make so these are handmade but um, George only charged me like six dollars for that and this glare you see, I got that from a vendor at Renegers, and I'll let you guess what it is. S A T U R D A Y night. S A T U R D A Y night. S A T U R D A Y night. S A T U R. Bay City Rollers, greatest hits. He was playing the song. From his phone but we had to take it out because of YouTube okay I grew up with the Bay City Rollers my sisters liked them so I ended up liking them anyway that was my buys from Renninger's and plus hotel gas and eats <laughs> and a few beers and now we'll get to the West Texas Hall so that was one weekend the very next weekend which was Thanksgiving weekend we headed up to West Texas to Baird, actually Baird, Texas, which is right outside Abilene, for those who don't know where Bear is, because it's very small. So we made a couple of stops on the way there. Uh, we always like stopping in the small towns. And the first town we stopped in, there was they were closed. It was a Wednesday before Thanksgiving. So, but... I'm not going to remember the town we stopped in, though, that we actually got this hall in. Where was this? This was Clifton. Clifton. Okay. So I'll start with that. So is a, we've been there a couple of other times in the last few years, or only one time. I don't even remember. A couple once. of times. I think we've been there twice. So we found this one booth at the very beginning. Uh, she had very good prices, and on top of that, everything was 50% off. So we racked up in that booth alone. And that's where I got it because it was worth getting and seeing if I could sell it. If, you know, whether it's something that brings in a lot of money or not, it was worth getting. Um, and this is the first thing I, one of the first things I got from that 50% off booth. It's the tray set with the coasters. This needs to be cleaned up. It looks like some crayon marks on it. And it has these metal coasters. There's two, four, eight, six. Six of the coasters. Oh, I thought that was cute. I don't even remember how much it, well, we had the receipt here somewhere. But everything was like around a couple of dollars or less. And I'm talking even 50 cents on some of this stuff. That set was 250. That was 250? Yep. I thought it was less than that. Um, then we have this, what is this stuff called? Um, some type of acrylic, uh, I forget what it's called. This is a hot plate and a napkin holder, matching napkin holder with flowers and butterflies in it. Now I thought that was really cute. I think I have another one similar to this one without the hot plate. But that's a, what is it? Uh, some kind of acrylic. Anyhow, 
Then we have this right it's here. It's Butterfly Trevet. Trevet. A Trevet. <laughs> butterfly Trevet. Butterflies and flowers. And then I got this. How much was my clown? Your clown was. It's from 1969. It says. This was listed for a dollar, and you got it for 50 cents. So I didn't turn it away because it's a. It was that cheap. But 1969, that's the year I was born. And it was, it's a double-sided clown. Now, who do you think of when you see a clown? David, do you know who we think of when we see a clown? Barnum and Bailey. <laughs> Who's a YouTuber we think of when we see a clown? Misty. <laughs> What's the name of her channel? Sorry, Misty. I don't know. <laughs> what is it? You can edit it, and I can answer you. Vintage Junker. I mean, oh my God, I can't even say. Uh, vintage hun Hunter. Let me find her because you're more than I got it. <laughs> yeah, you got my phone. I mean, my phone's busy. Vintage. Hmm? Hunter. Misty. Vintage. Does it start with a Drifter Junker Vintage hun Hunter. I almost said Humpter. <laughs> Come up. That, ask me what her name is. I like you not knowing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what's her name? Misty. <laughs> and what's the name of her YouTube channel? Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter. <laughs> no cheating there. <laughs> no cheating there. I'm not looking down at anything. <laughs> and then I got this because what was this? Only like a. I think it was like 50 cents or something. The frame was... Uh, that's why I got it, because it was so cheap. 50 cents. 50 cents. It has a number one. Now, if nobody wants this, I have a little baby coming up that's fixing to be one in March. My grandbaby. My youngest grandbaby. Look, it's a plastic film, and this is a, like a ceramic. This is number one with little blocks on it. I thought that was cute. There's that word. That word. That word is cute. And was this cat 25 cents? This cat, that's a mystery cat. So we took this cat, it didn't have a price, and it was from the same booth, and I think I found, I. Th oh yeah, so it had 25 cents on it. But that's from like a garage sale price. So she was like, there's no way it's 25 cents. Mm -hmm. So she was going to call the vendor. And we totally forgot about it. We just ended up paying for it. I think we paid and a dollar then. I think we paid, no, this is, we paid, I think, black cat small, black cat tall. We paid $2 for this. So... I think they ripped us off. So four dollars, <laughs> so we got a half off for two dollars. Mm -hmm. But we didn't know at the time. Well, how much was the small cat? The small cat, which is cool, was a dollar. Yeah, this one's mid-century looking. Needs to be cleaned up. Is there any chips on it? Is that a chip? No, I don't think it's a chip. I think no. You don't think so? Mm-mm. Oh -mm. uh, well, I don't know. It's got the painting on there. Maybe the it is ear. shit. I like it. He was well loved. And he, like I said, he was a dollar. And the big and cat. That one was four seventy seven, so seven ninety five half off. And he got green eyes. I really like this one. And then we got one more cat. I know he wasn't on sale. This was the only thing that wasn't on sale, and it was $4, I remember, because she came up to me and asked me, everything y'all picked up so far is on sale. This isn't. So are you sure you want it? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> it has swallowed a fish. He has a little fishy in its belly. I thought he was real cute. And then this cute little pig. I feel like I need to move the camera closer from, yeah, from Japan. It's a Japan. Little colorful piggy. Little oinker. 
We're going to do it all over again. No. <laughs> now do the dog. Let's start with the dog. And then found this black and white doggy. It looks like a Cocker Spaniel. Little planner. Two bucks. Two dollars. Does he get crazy? Nope, that's just his hair it looks like. Nope, he looks good. He's a cutie. And then I picked up this tin. It was a nice tin. I, every time I pick up a tin, usually it sells. There's 10 collectors out there, and this one's really pretty. It's a tea tin from England. And I like the scene on it. So, if y'all see anything here during the haul, because there's no telling when I'm going to get this stuff listed, you can message me and let me know if you're interested. Then, what does it say? It's the worst. It's only for a half cup of coffee. <laughs> you asked for a half a cup of coffee. It is a half a cup. This is what I need. I usually only drink half of my coffee. Couldn't do it. <laughs> I guess it just sits there because it's not, yeah, it sits up. It sits up good. I thought it was cute. It's only, I have no idea. It's, it was cheap. Then, I don't know if this was in the same booth, but I really like these things. Um, I got a cu couple of other ones. These uh, 70s piggy bank made from Japan. He's missing his stopper. I notice he does have a little chip right here. Um, I don't know what kind of composite this is. I have a cork for that. You have a cork for that? Mm -hmm. But I'm considering collecting these because I just love all the colors. No. <laughs> I got a blue one out there somewhere. And I got a clown no. like this and a football helmet. <laughs> They're cute. Sell them. Okay. Okay, and then these were in that booth. I think most everything we got today, you know, in this hall was from that one booth. These brass. Vases. <laughs> I can't say it. Brass, vases. These brass vases with some, these etched flowers that on there. That was a very expensive vase. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Where was that from? Ooh, those were five bucks for the pair. For the pair? Yes. I can't argue now because I don't remember, but I know it, I was thinking there were five dollars and half of that. And what else did I get? The flying tiger. No, I think he was in a different booth. Oh. Um. Yeah, he was in a different booth. I think he was only four dollars. Oh, the, well, the same booth. If you want to stick with the same booth, the barometer, mid-century barometer, the purse. Okay. This was out of the fifty percent off booth. It's a what? Barometer. Don Draper would have loved that in his office. <laughs> Does it work? Yeah. Is it cold in here? Mm, no, it's comfy. What's with that? fifty percent humidity. <laughs> and then I got this little purse because I like toys. It is all twisted. Show the purse. I like purses. There's a little boy on this side, and it's a plastic, and a little girl on that side, and their eyes move. Is it moving? It's, uh, what is that called? They open and shut. I don't know if it's doing it or not. So in today's terms, him, her. Purse. <laughs> it's not a Barbie doll because the lady corrected me on it. It's a Dawn. Dawn? Dawn doll. It's a Dawn doll. And she's like, oh, I didn't see that. I would have grabbed it if uh, if she saw it because she says she collects these. There's a little nick on her leg. 
but other than that and it can't have the some of the paperwork with it that's ripped dawn paraphernalia <laughs> oops we dropped something then, and just two books, uh, just items we may run, run across. But I'm just trying to build a library to educate myself so someday I can sound like George, the antique nomad. But uh, Tiffany table settings and an older price guide for plates, figurines, paperweights, and other limited editions. I mean, 50% off. I think I got, got these for... 50 cents each. And um, you're trying to be like who? George. <laughs> I want to sound like him someday. <laughs> Anywho. And then this was in there. I may put this in my sewing room because it's a little messed up on the front. Like it got water damage. But this is a sewing drawer. And there's all kinds of things to do with the sewing drawer. You store stuff in it. I can store all those 70s bank clown, clowns no. and <laughs> And you got a candle. Mm. Well, the, mm. I got a candle because it was on sale and I'm keeping it because we always like candles. It's a brand new candle. Mm. Rose table runner. Then I got this. Can you tell how long it is? Thought that was pretty. See the roses? I don't pick up linens too often. But, hey, it was on sale. Maybe I'll keep it. <laughs> and who's this? Uh, who is this, David? Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Hobby Lobby, really? That sounds something like I would say. Peanuts. Is this Hobby Lobby? No. Uh, what are they called? What are they called? I, I can't know. remember. Precious Moments? I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's the tag. I'm seeing if the name was on that. John Wash. Joan Walsh. I want to say it's Hobby Lobby, but... No way. It's not Hobby Lobby. You couldn't see her face. She never showed her face. Yeah. I don't know, but I love sheets. I always pick up the sheets. And a pillowcase. Oh, and the pillowcase, yeah. Cute. A friend is someone who likes you. Joan Wash England. Maybe that's who it is, Joan Wash England. <laughs> So like Tammy stated, who knows when she'll list it. So if you like anything, let her know in the comments or send her an email. And this is another thing I got. I don't think it was um, on sale. I think I paid like $4 for it. The Flying Tiger. Flying Tiger. And it has still has its tag. So it's one of those. He was 280 Oh, he was on sale. Cause 30 I think, percent off. Okay, 30 percent off. There's, this is a particular brand. Dream Pets. Dream Pet? Hmm. So, he's cute. And then, the while we were in that lady's booth and bringing stuff up constantly, one of the workers there what did she say david she said since we were looked like we we're buying the whole store telling us not to spend all of our money before we to got to her, her booth. Money, uh that we should go to her booth that's in the back of the store and because we were still on the first row <laughs> yeah this was on the first row so i went ahead went to the back to look for and i i actually i didn't bring it in but it, i found a Wagner frying pan, which is pretty old and pretty good shape. But not in her booth. No, it wasn't her booth. Oh, it was. Okay. And she, all of her items were 30% off, but she told us since we were buying for us, she would give it 50% off. Until 5 o'clock, she was 50% off. For so I think us. <laughs> I bought the frying pan for, I 
think I paid eight dollars for it. And what did you tell her? I found these. I came later. Yeah, she asked if if the only thing I was buying was a frying pan, and I told her I thought she was holding out on us, and she had all the good stuff at home because I didn't see. She had a big booth, but not a lot of. Uh, it was more newer survive. stuff. But I did find these in her booth. This is the only thing I grabbed out of her booth. They're from Japan. They're a little... Yeah. Mm. I wouldn't say dirty, but... Dingy? Dingy, yeah. Maybe. I mean, I don't know if the the rim of this is supposed to be more white than it is. And the, Sure. But <laughs> Look at the hat. It looks a little faded. So she has a bottom, a little heart bottom with feet look. I mean, but he still sits up. He still stands, but he don't have that bottom. I don't know if he's supposed to be like this or not. But No, it's supposed to have a heart. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Just find a Valentine's and glue it on there. <laughs> so, and his little jacket is lifted up. But I got to get these listed tonight because this already... First week in December. Are we in the second week? We're in the second week. And I need to get these listed second for Christmas. Week. So that's the only thing I bought from her. She was just dying for us to get to her booth. But all her good stuff was at home. So this was one store that we went to. And we're going to put together some another haul that the next stop we went to. Anyways, uh, be sure to follow us on uh, on all the platforms. I am Vintage Uprising Texas. I'm on Etsy, Facebook, Instagram, and of course YouTube. And we do have a website called VintageUprisingTexas.com. So like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell so you know when my next video has been uploaded. Oh, ding ding. <laughs> <laughs> and uh anything else y'all come back and see us um. bye y'all <laughs>